<gasps> a body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Oh, come on! Are you kidding? Why did it have to be Nekomaru? <laughs> it's such bull! He was taken away, brought back, and then taken away again! This time permanently! What the hell is this? This is bullshit! <laughs> That's not fair! He, he wasn't supposed to die again. He was indestructible. He, he could take a missile to the chest. How does this happen? I mean, look at him. He's completely dismantled and destroyed. I, I don't know how this happens. I wish it was! This is just... Nakamaru's really dead! Oh! And that brings up another point. Who the hell was able to do all this? I... The... Good lord! How do you take down the Metal Man? Hey. Oh, this is... this is gonna hurt. Oh, God. Move. Why? Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die... again? Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time! <laughs> God damn it! I knew that was gonna hit her the hardest! It's the first person I thought of besides Nekomaru! How cruel. All oh, this sucks! We just got a pep talk from him yesterday! He was right there! Oh... He was still him! Look, you're 0 for 4, hun. That's right. Yeah, that's right. It means two things. Nekomaru's truly dead and... Somebody did it. I won't forgive you. Oh, man. Maya! You. What do you want? <laughs> Now's not the time for jokes, please. I really liked Nekomaru. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Somebody get the shepherd's crook. Get this guy off stage. You talking about Nekomaru? Phew. Um. That's actually a a good point. He is a robot. Hmm. 
Oh, damn it. Yep. You, you could do us a little favor. Somebody found a way to kill the metal man. In other words... And permanently kill him. According to Monokuma, you can't bring him back. So... It's the Monokuma file! Oh my god, I gotta see this. This place is a wreck. What? What now? Red bean bread and milk! <gasps> no way. Do anything rash again. There you go. That's right. We will avenge him, no worries. See? feeling of being rejuvenated and thrown right back into despair. This sucks. I can't tell you how much this sucks. Like, every single death has been somebody I really, really liked. Why did it have to be Nekomaru? We didn't get to know him enough. He was a cool dude. Isn't that wonderful? Bullshit. I'm gonna do it! However... <gasps> yeah, you're right! That announcement sounded throughout the whole funhouse. But I think I can see in the background why they're not here yet. Hey, wait. They don't need that door. They just need the elevator, right? Unbelievable. What are you gonna do? Wait, did I read that wrong? How did everybody ditch? No, we were on time. We, we were, like, right on time. Do your best. What do you hear? Um... Is it everybody else? Huh? Is there some life left in him? Damn it. Oh, man. You got my hopes up for nothing. Yeah, I I can't hear anything. What are you talking about? Um Well, somebody needs to go get them. They need to see this. They're probably freaking out right now. They have no idea what's going on. Huh. I can, I can just 
Can you just imagine that? Hearing the announcement and then being like, oh shit, we gotta get over there now. And, oh god. They're probably still searching for where the announcement came from. I mean, it could have been anywhere in this funhouse. Yep. I agree. Let's start our investigation immediately. I gotta find the person who did this. This is so unfair. I, I, come on! It's Nekamaru. He takes one look at you and he sees potential. Alright, Monokuma file. I gotta see this. <sighs> Nekomaru Nidai, a.k.a. Mekamaru. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of this body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. Arms and legs detachable. But the thing that actually killed him was a blow to the head? Of all things? I... that's... that's what I'm guessing. If a blow to the head truly was the cause of death, it had to be something hard. I mean, also think that he had to be hit hard enough to detach his arms and legs. It's one hell of a hit! Who has enough strength to, to one, take down Mechamaru, and two, knock him so hard in the head that it kills a robot and detaches limbs? Good God! Uh, I kind of see what these people have to say about this. That's right. I wonder if it's because the time is kind of elusive in here. We actually need to look at clocks to know when it happened. I mean, I remember that. Oh, right. Yeah, the time of death wasn't shown because it was a mix-up. Right. So Monokuma didn't put that in. But why would he leave it out now? Um. So time is a big factor. Um. Yes, that's what we hypothesized. Yeah, we actually tested it, too. We left the e-handbook in the tower, went over to the other tower, opened the other door, and the e-handbook was there. Exactly, right there. Our experiment. Which means... Yeah, if, if we think about this tower as one big tower... With changing lights, it could go from strawberry to grape with just the flip of a switch, to be kind of technical. And that is also a projection on the floor. So just think, as soon as you close that door, it might just turn red. It makes sense. Then... Glad you caught up with the rest of us, Sonia. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Okay. So we can see the crime scene as two separate places, but they're the same place, if that makes sense. Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building, therefore they are both the crime scene. Hmm. At least we have a place. I mean, it's kind of obvious what the place is, but... Yeah, what'd you find? Any small details will help. Well... Oh, wait. Small rock-like fragments underneath his body. <laughs> hmm. 
You talking about uh, from that pillar there, maybe? See? They fell under. Hmm. Well. I think I see what she's getting at. Think about the placement of everything. No, no, I understand. Yep. No, every small detail is important. Especially with something this confusing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put him in the inventory anyway. Truth bullet away! Pillar fragments, that's what I thought. They were from the pillars. Akane, you you must be devastated. Oh my god. But you're at least battle ready now. I hate that you had to see this to become battle ready. She is uh, deep in thought right now. Leave it to me. Okay. I will wait for that thought. We're probably gonna have to wait a while. Oh! Oh my god, she had an epiphany. <gasps> Are you thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Like... Yes! I did hear something! I wanted somebody to bring this up! Yeah, the rumbling. Remember, Hajime? We thought it was an earthquake, but it totally wasn't. That was a loud noise. No way we could have missed that. Um. Yeah, that noise was loud enough to wake us up too. Oh yeah, what happened? Hmm. So you didn't think much of it. I mean, I would have come out of my room too. But at that point, I didn't think I could have moved. What's that mean? Uh, well, it's a pretty big sound. I could hazard a guess as to what that was. Hmm. Like, it's a stretch as to what I think that sound is, but I think it makes sense. <gasps> what time was it? When you heard that noise, like, shortly after. 5.30? That was early. D did... We, we were out for some time. Hmm. No, the noise definitely plays a part. And Akane mentioning a time... That'll be good to know later, at least I hope. Better not be a red herring. Why? Well, I'm trying to piece it together. I'm using your details to make something bigger. Hey, no, man. Nekomaru said I had potential. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's going to be pretty pissed for this entire ordeal. Good to know, Akane. I'll keep it in my back pocket. And now for the crimes... Oh, God, I don't want to do this. We'll go from left to right. Why not? An entire pillar tipped over. It had to be some impact to knock it over, let alone break it into pieces. I mean, these pillars have got to be pretty heavy, right? And yeah, that was the first thing that came to mind right there. Nekamaru's oil. So did... <laughs> I'm just thinking, did the killer pick up the pillar, knock him up the side of the head, and then just throw the pillar down? 
Murder weapon's the pillar. So only the ones leading to Strawberry House. Interesting. Huh. All right, what do you got? I I'm all ears for you in this case, Akane. You need support. Leave it to me. You? No. You know, I think the only person qualified to have that much strength and to actually pick up a pillar would be you and Nekabaru. No one's picking this thing up, Akane. I was being an ass. Damn it. Well, well, right. Being hit over the head with a gigantic stone pillar would be enough to kill anybody. But no one's picking up a pillar. <laughs> like I said, I was being a dick. I mean, I wasn't being real. No, I, I'm not. No, I'm not picking this up. I'm gonna do it. All right. So apparently, we can pick up this pillar. Let's just humor Akane, I guess. No use. It's barely budging. Imagine that. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power times three. Kaioken. Akane, don't hurt yourself. Don't strain anything. Why? Imagine that. You can't move the giant stone pillar. See, there you go. We just proved it to you. It's not a bludgeon. Hmm. Coach Mechamaru. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he offed himself with a stone pillar. All right. Well, Akane's got... I, I have a feeling Akane has a, a great deal of comedy in her because she's going to be trying so hard for this case. And I really feel sorry for her. This has got to be one of the worst things ever for her. She already lost the guy once. All right, question. Really big question. Where did the hammer come from? How cruel. You know, I was thinking that too. But I, I gotta know. Don't get me wrong, that's a huge hammer. Hitting anybody with that, chances are instant death. Even for Mechamaru. But where? And yeah, there's that detail too. It doesn't even look like it's been touched. I mean, probably the only time it has been moved is when it was just placed there. Something's not adding up here. It is strange, no? Thank you. Yes. Where did they get it? There has been no area in the funhouse where we've been able to find anything close to this hammer. <laughs> where? It's definitely new looking. Again, like it's never been touched. Let me see, is there anything else? Uh, let me check the wall. I wonder if Hajime has anything to say about this. Building the floor, illuminating the wall. Because of these lights, the walls and interior design look like green. Because the lights are shining on the walls, it's pretty dark, really can't see it. Okay, so there's nothing new on here. Oh, man. Uh, I don't want to, but I gotta. He's completely dismantled and destroyed. Oh, just imagine if that was a normal body. This would be grotesque. Oh, the... Like, just look at it, no... Nenekomaru! <laughs> Aw, man! That's what I don't get! Missile to the chest! And he lived! He barely had a scratch! And now... This! <laughs> 
they completely obliterated him. What I want to know is how. He was given another chance at life, and it was taken from him. You're just now coming to this conclusion, Hajime. A robot man is definitely unusual. Right, someone was still able to off him. You know, that's a good point. And that's another good point. If you're dealing with something you know nothing about, like, say, a robot, how do you kill robot? You? I agree with that. What's that mean? Yeah, Nekomaru wouldn't go down without a fight. The only... He wouldn't leave himself open. Yes! Nobody could beat Nekomaru! That's the biggest mystery here! Who was able to best him, and how? He... Mm, he was the strongest out of all of us. He became, like, infinity times stronger when he became a robot. How do you kill him? Oh, Nekomaru, please. I, I don't mean to, uh, to interfere, but I have to check you. I'm so sorry, man. Where the hell did this come from? There's wire all over him. It's like he was tied up. But I don't think they could keep him tied up. I mean, there's no way Nekomaru could just stay there tied up. He would break out of it immediately. This is so weird. Oh, yeah. It's a little loop. I didn't notice that. Uh, I actually can't figure that out. He was tied up with wire, so why the loop? Maybe they were trying for uh, for style points? I don't know. Maybe if Kazuichi would actually get here... Where are the guys? I mean, it's just me and the ladies, and... We, we kind of need everybody here. I want everybody to see this. I want them all to see how unfair the world is. What the? What is that? Is that his sleep button? Or good night button, excuse me. Well, same thing. That would be the only way to take down Mechamaru. Right, they're not just gonna walk up to Nekomaru and just push the button and then bam, hit you with a hammer or a pillar or whatever. Yes. This is so weird. I mean, if you think about all the details that we know now, who has the gall? Who has the strength, prowess, everything, to take on a gigantic metal man? Man, he was all oiled up based on pure electricity, and now it's leaking out like blood. Again, just imagine if this was a, an actual human body and how utterly disgusting this scene would be.
Hopefully Monokuma's got a cleaning lady in here. Get back on topic, Hajime, come on. Alright, Nakamaru, may you rest in peace. Again. We've got one more thing to look at back on the door. But I think we're going to save that for next time. Because I have a feeling, as soon as we check that lock, maybe the guys will actually show up. So next time on Danganronpa 2, we're going to be checking out that door and see what the hell is back there. Looks like a giant padlock and some chains. Maybe this is why they're not here? Maybe not. But I will see you guys next time. Dang, don't